we'll come back to study section 4 on HG302. On the previous study section, we differentiated between risk and uncertainty. So we also discussed the various types of risk associated with farm business and how we can manage this risk so as to reduce the effect on farmers. But in this study section 4, we'll be talking about the decision-making function of a farm managers. At the end of this study section, you should be able to explain the concept of decision-making, you should be able to discuss the types of farm management decision, and lastly, you should be able to highlight the functions of farm manager. Let's talk about this learning outcome one after the other. Decision making is a process of thought or deliberation that results in a choice. This definition implies that decision making involves making a choice from possible alternative resources. In other businesses, decision making in farm business is one of the most important activities that a farm manager has to carry the house. It is important that farm manager should follow a gradual and sequential process in taking decisions. A wrong decision at a particular stage in production process can lead to total collapse of farm business. So the success of any farm manager will depend to a large extent on the right type of decision he made. Therefore, there are seven essential steps that must be followed when making decisions in farm management. The first one is identify the problem. A problem is to identify farm manager discovered some deviation from the past experience. Once the farm manager notices any strange happenings or usual occurrence, then a problem is already identified. Define the problem. Definition of problem involved locating the root cause of the problem identified. This requires establishing what is responsible for the problem identified. Another one is suggest solutions. After establishing the cause of the problem, you cannot suggest some possible solutions to it. Another one is analyze the suggested solution. Analysis of the suggested solution involves getting the implication of each possible solution. And this involves getting the cost of each solution, both human and material resources, and workability of the solution. Another essential step is Select the best solution. From the point of view of cost, human resources, material resources, and workability of the solution, the farm manager can now choose the best alternative among this solution. Implement the decision. The next step after choosing the best alternative solution is to put the chosen solution into action evaluation this is the last step in the process of decision making it involves comparing the results of performance of your farming business at the end of decision to the time before the decision was being taken there are many decision or problems confronting farmers on the farm the solution to this problem will determine to a large extent whether a farmer or farm manager is going to be successful or not. The types of problems facing farm management include the following. What size of farm to operate? The solutions to this will depend on many factors like the type of crop cultivated or type of animal reared. The amount of resources available, land tenure system of the area, and type of equipment available. The second one is what combination of crops and livestock to produce. The solution to this will depend on whether the farmer wants to go into the mixed farming or mixed cropping. It will also depend on the value system of the area and some other factors. The third one is what system of farming should be followed. 
The available system of farming include monocropping, mixed cropping, mixed farming, but for animal rearing we have intensive, semi-intensive and extensive farming. What is the most profitable method of production given the available resources? And also, what kind of machineries and equipment to use? And at what level of production do we substitute machinery for labor? And also, how much of family labor and how much of paid labor to be used? This will be determined by the total population of the family and the number that will be available for farming at various period of the year. And another question is, how much of the crops and livestock to consume at home and how much of these to sell? Another one is selling price of the farm products and what are the problems of marketing the products? And lastly, the question of what are the sources of credit open to the farmer and how can he make proper use of the credit available? The farm manager or management must be prepared to carry out the following functions in agricultural production. Planning, forecasting, organizing, coordinating, staffing, personal management, directing and leading, communicating, motivating and supervising. Which function is most important? All of them are important and emphasis should be laid on different aspects according to their needs forecasting. Once the idea of establishing a farm business is conceived, forecasting begins in terms of expected quantities to produce, the price to set, the cost of farm inputs and the likely profits. Projections are also made on the basis of economic indicators such as population, age distribution, levels of income, government plans to increase employment or raise incomes, tests and preferences. Planning. Forecasting is the beginning of planning, which must be done. On the basis of forecast, the farm manager can increase his output. The plan, which some people call budget, contains every details of how much to make, at what price to sell, at what profit are they expecting the obligations to workers and the consumers? So the annual budget is a general statement, but the monthly budgets are more detailed. So planning sort out who will do what, and in planning, all levels of workers must be involved. Organizing. In organizing, responsibilities are divided, and the lines of authority are laid down. Organization involves delegating authority and holding specific people responsible for making sure that specific things are being done. Coordinating. Coordination is essential since farm business is segmented into various enterprises, each doing its own bit. The work of all segments must be harmonized so that no section is being delayed by lack of appropriate activity in another section. Coordinating is done by bringing all head of sections into the picture through communication. Motivation. In order to make the work of coordination and controlling easy, farm workers must be properly motivated through human treatment. As a farm manager, you should always put yourself in the position of farm workers. Take pains to explain what you want them to do. Make the instructions clear and simple. Create the right atmosphere for them. And motivation can be achieved in many ways. A simple note of appreciation or praise, which is commendation for a good job done, will encourage the workers to put more effort in future financial incentive we provide encourage for other works staffing 
This is a function carried out by the firm manage, manager. It involves decision on, on job content, qualification required, training on the job, and evaluation of performance in order to recommend for promotion or wage increase. Directing and leading. It is the duty of farm manager to lead the farm workers in the implementation of a chosen plan. Leadership entails outstanding character that commands the respect of all workers. A good leader must be very knowledgeable, mature in thought and action with balanced judgment and decisions, which are generally satisfactory to most farm workers. The next one is communication. Communication is an important aspect of farm management. The function of a communication involves passing information from the farm manager to the farm workers and the general public. A clear channel of communication must exist between the manager and the farm worker. Control and supervision. After planning, the next most crucial function of farmer manager has to do with controlling and supervision. For many businesses to succeed, every stage of activities must be controlled. I hope you've learned one or two things from this video section. You can read more in your study materials to have deep understanding and explanation of what we've been discussing since. Join me for the next study section. Thank you for listening.